start with two. Um, having 12 different pass catchers in this last game, and what, what do you think that says about you guys as a receivers unit and just kind of an offense in general with the tight ends and running backs? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just the versatility that we have in the whole entire offensive room. Um, we know that anybody put out there can make a catch and make a play, so I feel like, like again, the versatility is the biggest thing, and we knew that coming into the season, you know, that would be a big positive, I guess, with our offense. And then Coach Oxley has talked about Talia's command of the offense this year. Um, is there any specific way you can think of like how you've noticed that in, in practice or games, anything he's doing that you can see how much he's improved? Uh, just being a lot more vocal. Um, I think compared to maybe last year, if some things kind of slipped a little in practice, it might take a little more coaching and stuff like that to kind of get everybody back on track. But like I said earlier, it's, it's, a, it's a player driven team. Um, and he's, when something starts slipping in practice, He's on it quick, so uh, he doesn't let it. And then we're, we're on it as well, so it's not really him being the quarterback having to control everything. Um, I think us as receivers and then even the running backs, they get on their respective rooms, uh, but he's kind of like the overseer of everything. All right, uh, Brian, uh, my question is, this is basically like a big opportunity for you guys. Uh, both teams are undefeated. Uh, I believe it's the first time since 2016 since Maryland's been 4 0 up to this point. Just what is what are you guys thoughts about this big opportunity to face a top five team on Friday night? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just treating it like every every weekend. Um, I think when you try to, I guess, mag uh, weigh the situation and everything, I think uh, your priorities can kind of get out of line and stuff like that. Um, and then you start making mental errors and stuff that, uh, that happen like that. So the biggest thing is really just treating it like every weekend um, and treating it just like giving every team the same respect each and every weekend um, going into the game. A little bit of a follow-up on that last question. I know you and so many other guys on this team came here to play games like this where you're undefeated, you're playing another team that's undefeated. It's, it's prime time, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a huge game. Um, you know, are you, how excited are you? Maybe you're not thinking about how important it is, but how excited and what's it gonna feel like to take the field and be a part of such a big game like this? Yeah, uh, super excited. Um, being that, again, it is a Friday night game. We haven't had those opportunities since like high school, um, you really think back to it, but uh, no, we're, we're very excited. We know uh, Turn Nation is going to come out and uh, kind of just enhance the excitement level. So uh, we're, we're really ready, ready for it. Coach was very complimentary about the Iowa defense and you know how you know strong they've been against the run and the pass in, in their short sample size. What have you seen on tape? What is it about them that makes them, it feels like they're one of those teams that they're uh, their hole is much greater than the sum of its parts. Yeah, uh, they're a very disciplined team um, across the board from D-line to the secondary. Uh, we know that they're going to play fast, they're going to play hard. And they're not going to take any plays off, so the biggest thing with us is just staying disciplined within our routes, um, staying disciplined within our execution, not taking any plays off as well, because you never know when that one play that could spring uh, the change of moment in the game could happen. So I feel like all across the board, we got to block hard, we got to run hard, we got to catch every pass that's thrown away, and I think that'll be kind of like the deciding factor of the game. Brian, you were a special teams ace. I mean, you're the guy that you look for running down there to blow up the return, and then you go out as a receiver. Is there a difference in your football mentality between those two positions? I, th I think both. Um, it's, a, it's a killer mentality, it's a, kind of in a different way. Um, I know I got to be a little more technical from the receiver standpoint, knowing my depths, knowing my how to get out of certain routes and stuff like that. But all in all, it's just me putting foot to the gas and going 100 miles an hour um, every time I'm on the field. And that's what I try to implement in the special teams because um, that's a key part of the game as well. And I feel like I'm, uh, I feel like I can kind of change, make bigger plays on the special teams as well as well as well as on offense. Um, that's what I try to do every time I step out there. Hey, Brian. Uh, so obviously, I know you guys have already played a Friday game this season, but you know, another shortened. Uh, another shortened week to get prepared for a big opponent. Can you just kind of walk me through what that's like mentally and physically for you? Uh, I feel like being that it, it is our second one, um, we're used to it now. Um, so it's not it's not too hectic in terms of the turnaround, but we know that we really got to be on our stuff, um, kind of take care of the schoolwork early on so stuff doesn't build up. Um, but right now, I think I think we're in a good spot. Um, we're having a really good week. Um, and we're, we're doing the right thing to take care of our bodies and make sure that we're fresh for Friday. Thanks, Ryan. Coach Alvin talks about playing up to the standard. Can you talk about what that standard looks like for you and the rest of the players? Yeah, just giving all-out effort, um, whatever that may be, across the board in every uh, as aspect of the game. Um, if, you're, if you're not the most talented guy, if you give all your effort, um, you can you can make an impact in the game. So that's really the biggest thing. Um, 
And then we know when we, as receivers, when we're out of practice, catch every ball that's thrown to us, block hard, like try to do everything we can to impact the game. Um, and then each position and each side of the ball has their like respective um, kind of points that they want to hit on each and every day of practice. So I feel like if we practice that each and every day from the beginning of practice to the end, the game is easy and everything carries over. Hey, Brian, looking at the uh, the team's ground game, Tam Fleet Davis has been a big factor on the offense. What can you say about what he's meant to this team uh, offensively? Yeah, no, he, he's been a key, really a real key factor. Um, haven't had him in the past uh, to do some other stuff, but um, he, he's really put in the work, and he's deserve, really deserving of everything he's getting right now. He really busted his butt the whole entire offseason. Um, he's even much more of a vocal leader than he was in the past. Um, he's encouraging guys. Um, and he just wants everybody to win, so I feel like I said everything that he's uh, getting right now, he's really deserving of. Uh, the staff around here speaks of you as highly as anybody I've, I've heard of, and they talk about leadership and what you do every day. What do you think, without being overly self-praising, but what do you think you add to the team in, in that respect of leadership? Uh, I feel like I just, I kind of keep everybody like really even keel. Um, no matter what's going on, whether we're up really, uh, up high in the game or down, um, I kind of I feel like I'm the like balancing factor and everything. And then every day I practice, I challenge the defense to be on their best, and I challenge the offense to be on their best. And I hold myself to the same standard. So I feel like being here for some time um, and kind of implementing that over the years, and now being older, so a lot a lot more guys look up to me. They kind of can take the same approach that I take to things and then implement it into their game. Two more for Brian on the back day. Brian, after the game on Saturday, one of the things Coach talked about in terms of slot play was drop balls by the receivers. Uh, quite a little bit about that, and also you have the force fumble. So those kind of probably mental mistakes, do you think, or just effort by the defense? How do you work on improving in those areas? Yeah, it, that, that all goes back to focus and discipline and stuff that we practice each and every day. Um, so like day one at practice, we were out. Um, we had holding ball, guys hitting the ball, trying to rake at it. Um, just little, little things that we know. When we jump up in the air, we got to keep the ball tight to our body. Um, and then catching it, all it is is uh, just attaching your eyes to the ball and then securing the catch and tucking it before trying to run. So we're, we're still practicing that each and every day after each practice for 20, 30 minutes after practice. Um, and like I said, it's just something that you really have to focus in on in the game, especially like a key game. Uh, I, I gotta ask, um, have you been paying attention at all to like the AP top 25 rankings? Because it's like Maryland's kind of, kind of, kind of getting up there and cracking the door to the top 25. So we get your thoughts. Is that something you or any of your teammates pay attention to? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think we really pay attention as a group. Like obviously we hear the buzz and stuff like that, but all in all, we're just trying to go for the best product out on the field, and then that stuff will take care of itself.